A console.writeline statement is used when you want to display something on the on the screen of your computer. So let's look at the command you have in front of you. First of all, the command console.writeline is always used. Notice that the C, the W, and the L always needs to be uppercase. The second is what is displayed on the screen, and that appears between the open and the closed brackets. In this case, you see the word, word hello world within quotes. So if you use quotes, everything in, inside those quotes are displayed on the screen. And all commands in C-sharp end with a semicolon. So if you look at the bottom, that is what will display on the screen. It will say, hello world. Because you're using the right line statement, notice that the cursor jumps to the next line, ready to display something on the next line. Now we have two right line statements below each other. And the one says one within quotes and the other one two within quotes. Because they're right line statements, the one and the two are displayed below each other on the screen. In this case, the first command is just the right statement. Notice there's no right line. When it's the right statement, the cursor does not jump to the next line. So in this case, the two follows directly after the one on the same line. And then the second command has a line which takes the cursor to the next line. In this right line statement, there are three spaces before the A, but within the quotes. So if the A displays on the screen is not on the left hand side of the screen, it first physically puts the three spaces and then the A. So you'll notice the A is not right on the left hand side of the screen. Now you see we've got spaces also between the open and close brackets, but the spaces are before the first quote. So they're not in, in parts of the quotes. In this case, those spaces are ignored by the right line statement and the A is right on the left hand side of the screen. So it ignores spaces that are not between quotes. What I want to show now is something else that one could display. We'll get more into the actual arithmetic of programming, but it should be clear to you that we're adding 7 and 10 and that sum has the value of 17. Let's focus on the right line statement. In this case, between the brackets, we've got the word sum, which is a variable but it does not have quotes around it. When you don't have quotes around the, the word inside the brackets, it means you want to print the value of that word. In this case, the value of the variable sum. So we have the value 17 that appears on the screen. But there's also a third way of, of displaying something on the screen. In the right line statement, you'll see we don't have quotes. We don't have the name of a variable, but we actually have an expression. So instead of first calculating the sum, we simply just put in A plus B between the brackets of the right line statement. The right line statement then calculates the sum of 17 and displays the answer on the screen.